offshore wind is actually driving whales loco. The Massachusetts area that over the last 20 years had one or two whales wash ashore, and over the last short period of time, they had 18. It's driving them loco. I'm getting loco when I hear this. This idea has actually been circulating lately, but marine scientists have been really clear. There is no evidence that stranding of whales is actually linked to offshore wind farms. Hi, my name is Sandra. I'm a manager at a big four consulting firm. And here on this platform, I'm trying to make all these complex topics less complex. Organizations like the NOAA and the Marine Mammal Commission say that the recent increase in whale strandings is most likely linked to ship strikes, it's linked to entanglement in fishman's gear and to climate change driven food sources. <coughs> climate driven changes in food sourcing. Also, most US offshore wind projects are actually not even built yet. They're still under development, meaning that the turbines aren't even in the water yet to drive the whales loco. So, unless whales are reacting to blueprints, I think we're pretty safe.